my main piece of advice would be, uh, yeah, it's good to kind of see what sticks, not put all your eggs in one basket. But as soon as you gain traction in something, no matter what, then yeah, go all in on, uh, on that. At least it, as long as it's working, go all in. Even if you're not 100% convinced that's the direction you want long term, go all in for now and at least you get a feel for it and, you know, because it is working. And uh, yeah, I, I mean, yeah, uh, you should. As long as you see like a light at the end of the tunnel. Like if you see a, a certain path, how the, that voluntary work leads to whatever your job, you know, whatever you want to be doing eventually, then yeah, um, you know, uh, but you, you kind of, it's up to you to connect the dots, if that makes sense. Because you don't want to be in that position just volunteering for the next 10 years. But yeah, you need to uh, figure out how that leads to jobs. And, uh, you know, I don't know exactly about the sector, exactly what you want to be doing, but um, yeah. Uh, so, I mean, because there are a couple issues. Uh, many times, like you said, a lot of the corrections you saw were stylistic or you weren't too sure about them. Many times, and I, I don't know why this happens, but it, it happens with me too, people will return stuff with all these corrections which, yeah, are either stylistic, they're just rearranging words, or some, I'm, I've seen some that are just plain wrong or just worse. They make it worse than it was before, or they try to really nitpick. And a lot of it, a lot of the times it's because they hired another editor who feels like they need to show that they're doing work, so they just rearrange words to show that they're doing a lot of work. Or um, sometimes it's because they don't want to pay the full amount, although this is not the case if you're volunteering. Or, you know, I, I don't know, quite frankly, why, uh, why they do this uh, sometimes. You know, obviously they're trying to get as much as they can for free from you. Yeah, as much as they can from you for free. And uh, it seems like they're trying to take advantage of the situation. Uh, but uh, anyway, I mean, but you said a lot of the stuff, did you tell her? Like a lot of the stuff seems stylistic and uh, yeah. Yeah, no, you should. In fact, yeah, you could even say you like. Look, I think a lot. Most of those things are stylistic. I think I did a good job. I never heard back from you regarding the reference, which is all I get out of this. That's the only payment you would get is a reference. And uh, anyway, yeah. Um, unfortunately, yeah, that happens. But I, I think it's right. Just cut them loose and uh, concentrate on something else. Yeah, that's very weird that they w wouldn't, I don't know, I find, uh, you know, for the most part, yeah, the people I deal with are happy to do references. Um, uh, by the way, pros.com has its own built-in uh, thing for references. They make it actually very easy, uh, where you just, like, they, they send out an email to whatever email address you want. They say, and you click yes or no, we are willing to work again or not, and then, you know, through briefly. First of all, uh, I would lead, so right under your name, it, I would put, um, here you want to put your most impressive thing uh, that they'll see right away. And I would put something law school graduate or, uh, you know, uh, with legal degree or whatever the, the exact name of the degree you have, um, you know, translator. So, uh, I, I mean, you might know better than I do. I would put masters of law, um, you know, or tra translator with a master's in law or master's of law, what, you know, whatever the official title is. Looking at people who, uh, who have, who've been doing this for 10, 20 years and all that, they're not necessarily looking for too many new clients. They can be very picky about their clients. So when they say a reference, or, you know, when they say a resume available on request, then they can afford to do that. I think you should make as much information available to whoever is out there as possible. Uh, just because you don't want to, you don't want to make them jump through too many hoops to get your information, because the more times they have to ask you for this, ask you for that, then the less likely they, you know, if someone else provides all the information they need, but they have to ask you for it, they're more likely to go with someone else, if that makes sense, right? And um, and so that's why these people who have twenty years experience and uh, and are already doing very well, they can afford to hide some information or to uh, stylize it a bit or just put a couple lines and, and leave it at that because they're going to get requests anyway. They get referrals. They already have all the, you know, they're top rated and all that. So they, they have people coming to them. And uh, in a way, they're trying to limit the number of people who come to them. And you're kind of in an opposite boat. And so I would, I'd be a bit careful about that. I think, um, so I, I would put the information there uh, and I would put your resume um, and I will make it available. And I would put a bio that explains what you do. Now, your your bio itself, I would I would change it up a bit, but um, I don't think the. F so I um, I would put the bachelor and master's degree up top, and then uh, actually, in fact, I would even because uh, you can you can do certain simple HTML there. I would make 
bachelor and master's degree in law in bold, you know, be unapologetic, like put it out there just so they, they spot it right away. Um, um, this seems standard to what I see with other people because I'll see around like say 30 US um, and I see 20 uh, British pounds per hour. Uh, I mean, yeah, no, I think that's fine. Um, and uh, because I, be see, I see between, yeah, 20 something and uh, up to 30 US and, uh, and th this seems to fall within that. Uh, but again, I, I never hire based on, uh, or I never get hired and never hire based on per hour. So I'm, so I'm not sure. I see that I have something written, but then again, I, I highballed it. Um, then you're, oh, there we go. Okay, so you see that, yeah, feedback from clients and colleagues. Um, and then you should see a link that says, you can click on it to say request feedback. So if you click, yeah, exactly. You click on that and then, um, and this is what I meant by uh, pros.com makes it easy because here you, you have an email address, the name of the person, you can put the company name or not if you want. And then when you click continue, it gives you a, a, something they already wrote out and it makes it very easy for them. They just click yes, I am willing to work again. And then they can add comments if they want, but they don't even have to. And um, so it's literally for them, the only work they have to do is just click yes. And, um, and I like, yeah, because then it, if, if you click on that, it says it, you know, they already wrote a message that you can customize. And under it is, please, okay, yeah, they have two options. They still only have two options. Yes, I'd be willing to work again, or I prefer not to give feedback. If they don't give feedback, you get nothing. So you don't have to, you don't get anything negative. But if they put, yes, I'm willing to work again, then that's positive feedback. Uh, yeah, they can. But it'll be odd if they say, I, I'm willing to work again, but I didn't like this person. 